Good day everybody, this is Lars from Order 66 TV and today we're going to be doing our top 5 free to play games. So, without further ado we're going to start and just quickly we're going to be doing from 1 to 5 because most people tend to wait for the first one. And let's be real, everybody's pretty much always waiting for number 1 anyway. But yeah, if you disagree with any of my opinions or our opinions, make sure you put it in the comment section below and tell me I'm an idiot. Um, I, I don't even know where to start with you. I mean, do you even know who you're talking to? Okay guys, so number one, if you haven't guessed it already, Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, guys, this is Star Wars. How can you not love it? Everybody loves Star Wars. Well, we love Star Wars. We hope you love Star Wars as well. Um, maybe if you're a Star Trek fan, you maybe don't like it, but we don't discriminate. We love that as well. Uh, yeah, check this one out 100%. It's a Star Wars MMORPG based on an old game called Star Wars The Knights of the Republic. It's amazing. It's uh, completely free to play. There is a subscription base for it as well and preferred status. Uh, the preferred status is just a few um, extra perks that you get over free to play and it costs about $4.99 on the cartel market which is the in-game purchasing system. But if you subscription you get extra things like more available armors, um, faster ranking, faster leveling, ships, speeders, all the things you'd expect to get if you were paying for a game over the people that aren't paying for the game. Um, there is the extra expansion pack now as well. Uh, Revan one, which is based on the old Knights of Republic game I mentioned earlier. But yeah, guys, definitely, definitely check this out. Even if you're free to play the whole time and you don't even get preferred player stairs, still way, 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 way worth it. It's definitely our favourite, and that's why it's number one. Let us reach! Okay guys, so yeah, number two, Team Fortress 2, uh, bit weird, sorry, but yeah, Team Fortress 2, one of the most well-balanced shooters I've ever played, and it's free, free to play on Steam, definitely check this one out, it's an amazing game, so much fun, there's a few classes in it, you've got Scout, Soldier, Paro, Demo, Heavy, Engineer, Medic, Sniper, and Spy, I think that's all of them, but yeah, a truly amazing free game. Uh, an amazing shooter as, as well. Um, I got one recommendation if you do play this game, maybe play a medic because no one ever wants to play medic and uh, they are really, really useful. But anyway, yeah, definitely go check this one out and uh, once again, yeah, let us know what you think. War Thunder. So yeah, this was a really hard, hard choice to put this at third, but um, we had to put a second in there, so I went with Team Fortress. But this game, if I could choose two at two, I'd have done this at two as well, too. It's at two a lot of times. It is amazing. You've got the addition of tanks now as well. It's not just uh, planes, which, by the way, look amazing when you're playing. Like, the graphics on this game, visually, insane. Like, for a free game, you can't ask for any more and the gameplay is outstanding too like the uh, mechanics of playing the game like turning banking all that kind of thing so smooth so so nice uh, you get hit and someone destroys part of your wing it will affect your flight mobility you've got different game types you can play super ultra realistic where you take off from a uh, runway and then go out fight your battle and then come back you've got a certain amount of ammo all that kind of thing or you can just play arcade games where you've got infinite ammo and you can just keep battling it out and battling it out until you've lost all your brains but yeah um, once again it has a paid aspect as well but you're not hindered too much it's just a bit slower to level and uh, to get the things that you do want if you're going to play for free but yeah guys check it out just look at the visuals on this right now amazing and with the additions of tanks now um, which is another update that they've put in you can play tanks as well um, personally I haven't played that I've only played the uh, aircraft but if it's anything to choose the aircraft gameplay by, it's going to be good. So yeah, go check this one out guys, that's number three. I'll uh, just quickly leave you with a little bit of footage now just so you can really appreciate how beautiful it is. Obviously if you don't want to see it, just skip. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay guys, so number four. Yeah, this was a tough decision to make because uh, I think most people like the clarity of having just one game uh, in the position of fourth place or any position. But I couldn't really be biased towards either game because I think I'll get slated by everybody in the gaming community that play either of these games. And number four, I've got a tie for Dota 2 and League of Legends. Um, I personally think they're both really, really good games. Um, some would say that Dota is probably a little bit more in depth, um, but then there is more people playing uh, League of Legends. So I really, I'd say guys check them both out and then make your own personal opinion I'm not here to tell you which one to play and which one not to play a uh, quick run through of what they actually mean and what they, they are they're both MOBAs um, if you don't know what a MOBA is it's a multiplayer online battle arena um, and what you do in the game is everybody uh, creates a, a hero or a champion whatever you want to call them and you have to basically destroy the other team's base both team has a base and bases release minions which will obviously go towards their base and try and destroy them nobody controls the minions they're just uh, npcs um and you can help them by destroying the other team's minions but remember obviously that other team has champions as well played by other players which will then try and kill your minions or you each champion then has special abilities and you have to play your character's abilities to what they are um so if you're a bit of a stealthy character, you're not really going to be going in there, guns blazing, you're not a heavy, that kind of thing. Um, it's all about balance and playing the character role as it's supposed to be played. Uh, definitely, definitely worth checking out, and that's our number four, Dota and League of Legends. Go check them out, guys. So five, last but in my mind not at all least, Planetside 2. Not a lot of people have really heard about this game, but I do think it is a really, really good game. Um, and like I've said on every other video, because I just keep repeating myself, go and check it out. It's uh, a Battlefield-esque kind of game where you have classes, medic, um, in, uh, infantry support, uh, engineer, all that kind of thing. And you have vehicles, huge open maps, some of them are massive. It's uh, slightly different to Battlefield in the terms of the map layout. It's uh, one huge, huge map, and there's three factions that you can play as, and you have to be one of those factions, and you can drop into the map on any different spot and start attacking the other faction's um, territory, and you can take over their territories. And each section is one map. It's huge. I can't, it's hard to explain, but go and check it out. It's amazing. Um, check it out, check it out, check it out. Don't want to say any more. Check it out. But yeah, that's it guys, that's number 5. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Please like and subscribe so that we can keep making these videos because uh, we do really enjoy it. And by all means leave a comment in the comment section below telling me that you hate my voice or you think I'm a weird guy. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching. Peace out.